Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to hook Nagios XI up to your mail server so that you can send email from Nagios XI. So to get started, let's go to the admin tab. Under system config, you'll see manage email settings. And the first thing you do is define your SMTP settings. So first of all, you have to know the host of your SMTP server. This is very easily Googleable. Um, for instance, mine is Fusemail, and I'm gonna look up Fusemail SMTP. Getting started, looks like it's right here, smtp.fusemail.net. So I'm just gonna copy this to right here. Port 465 is a typical port used with SMTP if we're gonna use encryption, which I highly recommend you do. You'll also need to select either TLS or SSL if you are using encryption. If you're not using encryption, it's normally gonna be port 25. But I am, uh, I am using encryption. Now you'll have to enter a username and a password of an authorized user for that mail server. So in my case, I'm going to enter my own email credentials. And we'll call that good. After we've entered the credentials in, press update settings. Now you'll notice that there are two things under general mail settings that we haven't defined yet, and these are important as well, but I do like to save the settings once I have this uh, SMTP settings you know, portion entered. So under general mail settings, you'll notice we have a send mail from address. Now this can't be root at localhost in most cases. Most email servers will block anything that's root at localhost. So we'll have to define an appropriate address to use on this server. In my case, I'm just gonna call it xitestserver at nagios.com. And we'll select SMTP and press update. Now we should be good in terms of uh, sending a test email. These settings all look correct to me, but the send a test email dialog will confirm. So we'll hit send a test email, and I'm going to send this test email to myself. So we'll press send test email. A test email was sent to my email address, and right away you can see that Thunderbird popped up a notification that I got a Nagios XI test message. We'll open up this test message. You can see this is a test email from Nagios XI. What this means, and, and you'll notice that in the from field, we have XI test server at nagios.com. So what this means is that Nagios XI can send alerts via email to me. So when servers start to go down or services start to go down, I'll begin receiving alerts through email. Now, as a follow-up to watching this tutorial, once you have this all uh, set up and working, highly recommend watching our notification messages, notification preferences, and notification methods line of videos as well. I cover all three of these things and they all tie into how email is delivered within uh, Nagios XI. So there'll be links at the bottom of your screen to get to those videos as well. So that should effectively be it. All that you need to do to get email working in Nagios XI is to define your SMTP settings. So you define a host, a port, a username, a password, and the security protocol to use. And then you define a unique from address that Nagios XI will use to send out its alerts. And if you have any questions about what we just covered, please feel free to contact us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, please feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.